yes, but got I got him? Yes, yeah. All right. Oh, nice. that's a dandy too, Tony. <laughs> oh, right on the dirt. Look at this oh. fish. This is bigger than the last one. What's the moon phase, do you know? <laughs> I have no idea. There are people in this world that go looking for adventure. And then there are those that live it every day. Alaska Outdoors Television. Experience Alaska like never before. Alaska Outdoors Television, brought to you by Browning, the best there is. Some of the best fishing is right here in Alaska in our backyard. And we take it for granted a lot of times that some of these fisheries that we have are some of the best in the world. People come from all over to catch fish. Get a bite. <laughs> you know, when you fish with your friends, I brought my good buddy along with me on this trip, Mike, and he's done this a few times with me. A good friend told me years ago, he says, what makes a really good fishing trip? And he says, when you get to the point where you've caught enough fish that you can just sit down and enjoy the scenery and enjoy the, the beauty that's around you, no phones, no messages to answer, I think if we can get to that place on a regular basis, that does a lot for your soul. There we go. A good fishing buddy is the type of guy that you can call Hey, I'm gonna go fishing. I'm leaving tomorrow, can you go? He's there. He's got his equipment in line and you got your stuff ready to go and you just go. Hit, hit that choke one more time. Got a little wind going on today. Okay. And I think it may be a little better probably just to go out here and search for some fish. I don't see any birds. And normally when it lays down, 